That's right. In San Francisco, it's Demo Day, a time when investors gather to listen to pitches from startups eager to impress. The entrepreneurs are part of Hacks, a hardware accelerator that affords them the opportunity to spend months in Shenzhen, China, to access a supply chain that can make their product a reality. It was just amazing to be in Shenzhen and build this product at super lightning speed. Hitting the market next year, Cradlewise is a crib that uses artificial intelligence to learn what type of movement and music helps a baby sleep best. We have the stored patterns of the babies, how they wake up, we look for different movements, activities, a breath rate. From that we can come to know if the baby is waking up and then we start rocking along with music. At Hacks Accelerator, startups are taking drone technology to a whole new level. This is SkyGage, one of the only drones in the world where the rotors actually move and compensate. When I hit it, it adapts to my force. Using one to inspect imposing structures is safer, since it keeps workers on the ground while it takes readings in the sky. Other startups have gained valuable insight and inspiration from trends booming in China, like micro-retail. Several times we've walked around in malls just looking at all the different kinds of vending machines, the interfaces, and like how people are using them. The result of that work in both China and the U.S. is Presso, a kiosk that can dry clean a clothing item in five minutes. Co-founder Nishant Jain says despite trade tensions between China and the U.S., business is moving ahead. At the current stage, it's not impacting us as much. Definitely a concern for us as we grow our manufacturing. Where it's going to be, is it still going to be in China or somewhere else? It's still up in the air. Like As these things progress, maybe if things clear up, we maintain. Obviously, it's easier for us to be in China. Innovation you know, now is, is, is a global phenomenon. Uh, you can see it actually from a uh, number of companies that are getting funded worldwide, as well as the billion dollar companies that are uh, being birthed uh, every year. Used to be you know, uh, very uh, Silicon Valley centric and then they become more European-centric and then more Asian-centric as well. And so now you have a really good balance. Global balance can be found in the startup Mechasys, which is headquartered in Montreal, fine-tuned its strategy at Hacks in San Francisco, and leveraged Shenzhen's supply chain to build a laser projector for construction sites. We've been able to prototype really, really fast. Just to give you an example, if we want to design and manufacture printed circuit boards in Canada, well, it would take about five to six open days to manufacture it and receive it with the shipping. In China, Shenzhen, we can do up to six iterations per day. So this is like going really, really fast. Mechasys can overlay blueprints directly on sites, eliminating messy markings and the inaccuracy of tape measures. It's yet one more product in a room full of innovation, taking advantage of global knowledge to disrupt business as usual. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.